Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. I'm your host, Pat Sun, and today we're gonna be taking a look at our slash cheating stories, where we see proof that most of the time, female friendships are just a joke. Let's begin. I found out my fiancé is cheating on me with our friend. Posted by Reddit user Bircher. I just feel so, so stupid. Stupid, used, ugly, disgusting, useless, unwanted. God, the feeling is just so strong and I don't know even what to do or think. I have been engaged to my fiancé for one year, together for four years in total. Me, my fiancé, and my friend all work at the same place. They work in the same department and are with each other 24-7. My department is closely related so I get to see them often, but not all the time. I should have seen the signs from the very beginning. On the days when I finished work early, he would say he had more work with her to do. Even if I insisted on staying, he would tell me to go home and get some rest. The problem is I was pointing fingers at the wrong person this entire time. Another co-worker I have suspected he was cheating on me with her. She's obviously in love with him. She's even confessed to him and she brings him gifts to the office, makes home-cooked meals and gives him gifts. They're always whispering and making inside jokes. He even makes inside jokes to her that I thought was our thing. I've asked him to set boundaries with her before, but he said it would make things at work awkward. I didn't want to push and cause an argument, so I let it go. He convinced me it was all in my head and that I had nothing to worry about, but now I'm not so sure. He probably is cheating on me with her too. I wouldn't be surprised. Back to what I discovered today. He went to go shower and left his phone open. He's usually very protective of his phone, but I thought that's just the way he is. He's protective of everything. So, I chuckled to myself that he was suddenly so careless. That's when I saw it all. There were thousands of photos of me. There always has been. He always asks to take photos, especially after having sex. I smiled to myself thinking that I had such a sweet man who was so obsessed with me and just as infatuated in me as I was in him. I scrolled down further and saw something else. It wasn't me. Those aren't my hips, legs, but breasts. That's not my body. My hands quite literally started shaking. I didn't know what to do. I looked at the background and recognized her bag. I know it's hers because she made it herself. There's no other like it. I scroll down again and see a video of them having sex. Faces and everything. No mistake, it was them too. The tears just came pouring down my face, my legs and hands were shaking. I kept thinking why, why, why? Am I not enough? How could I be so stupid and naive? Of course I'm not enough. I've never been good enough. My whole life I've struggled with feeling inadequate and undeserving of love. Just when I start to believe his words, just when I start to think maybe I am worthy of love. I quickly grabbed my phone and took photos of the pictures on his phone. I only got about three before he came back from the shower, and they're a little fuzzy because I was shaking so hard. I didn't know how to confront him. He walked in being his usual funny self that I fell in love with. Jokes I would usually cry of laughter couldn't even raise a smile on my face. He gave me kisses all over, telling me he loved me and I just hummed. He asked what's wrong and I told him I'm just exhausted and need some rest, to which he smiled and told me to get some sleep. He said he would be back in a few hours after work, and that she is giving him a lift, since our car is getting serviced and I have the day off. It just twisted the knife that was already lodged so deeply in my chest. Then he left, so here I am typing this. I really should have seen it all along. Believe me, he is the most perfect man of my dreams. Handsome face, body and physique to die for. So funny, kind, and hygienic at all times. Gifts, acts of service, reassuring words, everything. Takes such good care of me, makes me feel like a queen. Always goes above and beyond. I seriously won the jackpot. I always looked at guys who never did the bare minimum and was so glad it wasn't me. He always put me first. But now I see I wasn't the only one he put first. We've had a bit of relationship issues in the past, where I unknowingly flirted with other men. I've learned my lesson, and always make sure to reassure him I belong to him. I cut ties with most men, keep a distance from them and always bring him up in conversation or even bring him over to include him. He's my first love, my first kiss, took my V-card, and has been the only person I've ever been with. I knew it wasn't the same for him, but I was okay that he had previous experience. It never bothered me. He's found it hard to trust me since my past mistakes. Always accusing me of lying, cheating, looking at other men, talking to other men. I always assure him I'm not, even giving him my phone to look through, my location, photos, messages, everything. He never did the same but I was okay with that too. Now I realize he's projecting, accusing me of cheating because he's been doing it all along. Messages, photos, locations. I have to tell him everything, where I'm going, times, dates, what I'm doing. I thought he was just worried about me. I thought it was sweet. I couldn't have been more wrong. 
I've caught him before with photos of other girls on his phone, usually after we've argued. We'll be making up after the fight, and I give him head to show how much I appreciate him. He'll pull out his phone every now and then, which I don't mind. But twice now, I stood up and caught him looking at porn on his phone. It hurts so bad. I'm putting in so much effort, thinking I'm the one making him feel good. But I'm so dumb. He's not even paying attention to me, but looking at another woman. God, now I see so many problems with our relationship over the years. He's seriously the perfect man. I couldn't complain about anything else. Why did it have to be this of all things? All the times he told me he loved me, wanted me, needed me, was it all lies? Him saying he wanted to start a family with me, live a life with me, was he lying? How could he say all these sweet things to my face while doing all of these things behind my back? I think I'll confront him when he gets back from work. TLDR, my fiancé cheated on me with our friend from work, I found the evidence on his phone and he may even be cheating with multiple women behind my back. Now for OP's first update. I'm not sure how Reddit works and how to notify those who wanted an update, so please let me know if I'm doing this wrong. I haven't confronted him. I really can't find it in me to do it. I know, I'm being stupid and cowardly and I need to get this piece of shit out of my life, but I wish it were that easy. He came home from work and I don't know how I did it, but I acted normal. I'm not so good at hiding my feelings, inside I was torn apart. But I didn't show it. I've decided I need my evidence. The three photos I took are either blurry, or you can't really tell who it is. I need better evidence. I'm afraid that if I confront him too soon, he will hold onto his phone so tightly and I will never get the chance to get the evidence I need. So I will wait until he lets his guard down, get messages, photos, videos, everything off his phone. It's the only way I will have any power in my situation. I just know he will turn it back onto me if I don't. When he got back, we went about our night as usual. I was able to just keep my distance. I don't think he's noticed something is wrong. I've stopped calling him the pet names I gave him. Instead of saying, hey baby, can you put the dishes away? I just say, hey, can you put these away? It may not seem like a lot, but the difference for us is huge. When he says I love you, it hurts. I just do my best to smile and say I know, me too. I've never not reciprocated his love before. Again, he hasn't seemed to notice. He always messages me during his breaks or even during meetings at work. He did the same today, but I didn't reply to them as enthusiastically as I would have before. Some of them I didn't reply at all and later just said I was asleep or busy. I'm never too busy to reply to him. I dive at my phone to talk to him. I still have that infatuation with him as I did years ago when we first got together. That spark for me never left. But I question whether he felt that spark to begin with. Sometimes for a split second, he's my fiancé that I adore and love more than anything. Then I get a sudden mental image of what I found on his phone and I feel like keeling over and collapsing. I've never felt this type of pain in my chest before. Just a bit of additional information. My fiancé is one of the senior executives at the place I work. He has a highly revered position and is respected by everyone. Quite literally, everyone loves him. He's great at his job and has worked so hard to gain the respect he deserves in the industry. He works very closely with the CEO and therefore has a lot of say in what happens in the office. My fiancé and our friend have been best friends for far longer than I've been in the picture. They've known each other since their teens and I only met them five years ago. I do not know how long he has been sleeping with her. It may have even been before we got together. They both have higher positions than me in the office. Then there's the other co-worker who is madly in love with my fiancé. We talk occasionally. She's nice to me, and we actually get along quite well. But when my fiancé shows up, it's tense between us and things go sour. I feel like we could have been best friends if only we weren't in love with the same man. Beside her giving him gifts and food every day, the only other thing that bothers me about her is that she has even complained to the higher-ups about me and my fiancé's PDA. We are very clear in limiting PDA to a minimum at work, as that is not the place for that. I got let off with a slap on the wrist, but I'm still a bit sour about it. For a long time I've been suspecting something between my fiancé and this woman. They have inside jokes that I don't understand and he won't explain to me, and even shares our inside jokes with her too. Things I thought were special to us in our relationship, he does with other women. It hurts. I was so blind and so willing to forgive him every time. I would tell him something that she did that made me uncomfortable, like being too touchy, too close, looking at him with those puppy love eyes. He reassured me there's nothing to worry about, and I believed him over and over. I really feel like an idiot. But I never once suspected our friend. Not once. They don't look at each other that way, touch each other, nothing. They're so good at hiding it, I was looking in the wrong direction the whole time. I'm such a clown. 
And now, for OP's second update. Just to address a few points people have brought up in the comments. We do not share finances. He has always suggested merging bank accounts, but as he earns more than me, I had decided to wait longer before merging bank accounts just out of respect for him and to show I am not here for his money. I'm glad I waited. Elise is under his name, so I am okay to leave whenever. Our car being serviced right now is mine. He is lending his car to his brothers at the moment. So the car is also not an issue. I feel very stuck in my situation at work. I have worked so hard for this career, I'm in my dream position and dream company. Just to make it clear, I did not get this dream position by being with my fiancé. I met him and we got together a few months after I got my job here. I don't think I can complain to HR because I don't think anything will happen. My fiancé and my friend are too respected for anything to happen to them. I feel like I will be the one to get the blame for trying to ruin a healthy work environment. Maybe people are even secretly rooting for them to end up together and for me to be out of the picture. I am also just not the type to get revenge. Once I get my evidence, I don't think I'll release it to the public. I don't even know if I can tell his family. I love them so much and I know they really love me too. They took me in and treated me as the daughter they never had. I get to experience having a loving family. I just can't break their hearts like that with this information. I also do not have a support system. I've never had many friends. I've grown apart from high school and college friends, and the two that I am in contact with have moved overseas to live their lives. I quite literally depended on my fiancé with my life. He's my bestest friend in the whole world. He's always been there for me whenever something goes wrong. I was never bothered by not having many friends because I had him, work, and my pets. I was so content with my life, I didn't need anything else. I'm not on good terms with my family. I grew up in an emotionally and physically abusive household, and so I've cut ties with parents. There is nothing wrong with my siblings, they are just extremely unreliable, and I can't trust them to be there for me. I literally have no one about what I did to upset him. A few times there's been male co-workers who have had crushes on me over the years. I talk to everyone the same way. I don't flirt, at least it's not flirting to me. I'm nice to new co-workers because I want them to feel comfortable in such a new and busy environment. It can be daunting, I was in their position once. I also will admit that I've gotten too close to male co-workers before. Leaning in close to show them something, lightly pushing them as I laugh. I apologized profusely and reassured my fiancé there's no meaning to it, but he still refuses to believe me. He says I wanted attention. He says that I did it all on purpose and was leading them on. He says that I knew that they liked me even though I swear I didn't. My fiancé literally brings it up every day. I made these mistakes in 2021 to 2022. I thought we had turned over a new leaf this New Year's, but he still brings it up every single day without fail. I don't want to not take responsibility for what I did. But I'm also starting to think, was I really in the wrong? And if I was, I've been trying so hard to fix it. But there's nothing I can do to make it better or make him forgive me for making him feel that way. I understand that it doesn't matter what I was or wasn't doing. He was the victim and it depends on his feelings about the situation. But no matter what I do or say, he still holds it over my head. When I try to extremely softly and politely bring up something that's bothering me about him and another female co-worker, he just says that's how you made me feel that time when you and X were doing this and that. I feel so bad for bringing up my feelings that I end up apologizing and never mentioning it again. God, I'm in such a mess. While I can see why I was wrong to be close with others, I've done everything I can think of to prove my loyalty to him, as you've seen in my last post. But nothing works. I've been so patient with his feelings and being so transparent, but there always seems to be a flaw in what I'm doing. I see his side, but I'm also so tired of arguing about issues from over a year ago. It feels so devastating. I have nothing without him. I can see all your lovely comments telling me I'm worthy of love, I'm strong and not all the things I believe I am. It's so hard to believe it. I don't feel strong. I feel weak at his touch and when he looks at me I forget everything wrong in the world. I don't feel smart, I've been played since the start and refused to see it, always forgiving him and even convincing him I would never leave him, cheat on him, deceive him. It was the other way around the whole time. I posted this all on Reddit just to get my feelings out somewhere. I don't have anyone I can tell these things to, no one who cares about me. I feel so alone in the world. The one person who I gave my everything to is not who I thought they were. I gave him my innocence, my trust, my undivided attention, and my love. I know this was a long one, so thank you for staying until the end. TLDR, I'm going to gather my evidence then confront him and see what I'll do from there. I'm in a very tight position with no support system and could lose everything over this. Okay, so maybe I'm missing something here. But OP, why exactly do you need evidence? 
You already saw him cheating. You said that you can't do anything to him even if you report him to HR. You're unwilling to expose him to his family. So why wait? Why not just leave him now? You're just wasting more of your time and letting him disrespect you even further. Look, OP, I know and I understand that this is hard for you. But the longer you wait, the harder it gets. Look, man, you say that you don't have trusted friends or family, that you don't have a support system. Then that is exactly the reason why you should seek therapy. It can help you process your trauma and more importantly, make a decision on how to leave your fiancé. Or you can stay and work through the infidelity. Whatever it is that you choose to do, I wish you luck. Viewer support is the best way for me to remain independent and continue bringing you these daily videos, which will always be here on my channels for you to watch absolutely free. So please consider subscribing to me on Rumble and on YouTube. Both will be linked in the description box down below. Thanks for listening everyone. If you even somewhat enjoyed today's story, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you really like it, consider subscribing to Pat Sun to never miss a future upload. Stay strong.